A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you about one verse out of the Beatitudes. If we go to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9, this is what the Word of God says. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. My dear friend, what greater title would you want than to be walking down the street and somebody says, you see that man over there? He's a son of God. There's no greater title, right? And how do we get that title? By being peacemakers. Not peace lovers. No, 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 no. Peace lovers, just they, they don't want to do anything. They just want peace. They, they will pay for peace at any cost. They will see other people suffer, okay, just so that they can have peace. Those are not peace makers. Those are peace lovers. The Lord did not say, blessed are the peace lovers. He said, blessed are the peacemakers. To be a peacemaker, you have to speak the truth in love. See? So when you see two people living together, and they are not husband and wife, and you don't want any trouble, come on now, I just want to be, live a life of peace, and they happen to be in your family, and you know what they're doing, and you know that they're living a life of fornication, because they're not married, see? And you go and you say to your wife or to your husband, don't say anything, just leave it, just leave it. I just want peace. That's not a peacemaker. That's a peace lover. And you don't really love that couple because if you really love them, you would tell them what you're doing is wrong. And they would say to you, well, what must we do? And you say, you must go and get married. That's all. Yeah, but, but, no, 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 but. Go and get married. I was preaching in a church just down the road a few months ago. And after I'd made the altar call, many people came and gave their lives to Jesus. And there was a lovely young couple in the front. And you're probably watching the program, and I hope you are. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And for, for some reason, only known to God and maybe to her, she had a long white dress on. looked like a wedding dress. And she was seven months pregnant because I asked her. I said to this young couple, is this the first time today that you've given your life to Jesus? They just made a commitment to Christ. They said, yes. I said, do you belong to a church? They said, no. They came for the first time. I said, I see you're going to have a baby. This is in front of 10,000 people. We're watching this on live streaming and in this church. When is the baby due? Seven months. I'm seven months pregnant in front of everybody. By this time, of course, people were crying. It was an emotional time. I said to her, is that your husband standing next to you? She said, no. I said, really? <laughs> I said, please come onto the platform. They walked onto the platform, a fine, handsome looking young man. I said to him, young man, is this your girlfriend? He said, yes, sir. I said, is she carrying your child? He said, yes, sir. I said, when are you going to get married? He said, soon, sir. I said, how soon? And he looked at me, I said, how about now? He said, yes, sir. He got on his knees. He proposed to her. A lady ran out of the crowd, took off her wedding ring, gave it to me. I, put, I gave the wedding ring to the, the bridegroom. That's right. We prayed those prayers. I tried to remember all the vows. Not very good at this. <laughs> I was going to bless that marriage. Blessed are the peacemakers, not the peace lovers. But you know what happened? The pastor phoned me the, the next day and he said to me, Angus, another couple's just come into my office and they've also got married. And that young couple, they got married on the platform. They've come and signed all the forms. They're doing Bible studies. So that blessed little baby who's maybe born now is going to have a mommy and daddy that are happily married. I want to say to you, the Lord says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. It's not about being a peace lover. It's about being a peacemaker. And to be a peacemaker, you've got to tell the truth. God bless you until next time. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.